A huge development is currently taking place in the state of West Bengal politically and that is senior BJP leader Mukul Roy, who was formerly with the Trinamool Congress, has chosen to return to Mamata's party. Mukul Roy has chosen a ghar wapsi to the Trinamool Congress and is just in a short while meeting Mamata Banerjee at the Trinamool office. Remember, he has been miffed with the BJP leadership. Uh, felt sidelined after Suvendu Adhikari was able to gain entry into BJP. He had quit TMC in September 2017 when Mukul Roy had a fallout with Mamata Banerjee and joined BJP over rift with Abhishek Banerjee. Is all of that all in the past? Mamata Banerjee's approval has been given and we got that confirmation coming in from Mukul Roy himself just a short while ago when he made the statement. I am heading to the Trinamool Bhavan, says Mukul Roy, who was until recently with the BJP. And now Suryagini Roy, my colleague, is in Kolkata reporting from just outside the Trinamool Bhavan. Has he reached uh, the Bhavan, Suryagini? All right, we can see some heightened activity. Let's uh, go across directly to the visuals. Uh, Suryagini, tell us uh, through what precisely is happening. Go ahead. Pooja, Mamta Banerjee, Pooja, if you can see us, Mamta Banerjee is here. Mukul Roy is here. Mamta Banerjee is going to conduct a press conference at 3.30 herself today. Mukul Roy has just entered. Mamta Banerjee entered just seven, eight minutes prior to Mukul Roy entering. And right now, both Mamta Banerjee and Mukul Roy, both of them are inside this particular premises and a press conference is all set to be happening by the Chief Minister, that is Mamta Banerjee, at 3.30. Uh, you know, as we, we, we were saying since morning, that the mere fact if Mamta Banerjee herself re-inducts Mukul Roy back to the party, that will give a clear and loud and clear indi indication that Mukul Roy has to be accepted by one and all in Trinamool Congress. And this will also show how important Mukul is to Mamta Banerjee. This is also a clear message to the BJP. He's also a BJP elected um, MLA. Uh, so this is a clear message, not only to Trinamool Congress cadres, but also to the BJP. Back to you, Pooja. Suryagini, you had told us if Mamata Banerjee has given the approval, nothing else is required. And we can see now there's just a press briefing expected to begin in a short while. You could already see the crowd of supporters and media persons as well. Suryagini, if you are with us even now, I understand there's a lot of heightened activity taking place there. Uh, this will also be significant in the manner in which Mamata Banerjee is inducting him. She's not known to do anything in a subtle manner, often dramatic with her gestures and quotes. Today as well, should we expect when Mamata Banerjee welcomes him back, that it's going to be a reunion that many will want to watch out for. Suryagini. Well, Pooja, time and again, you know, I have been saying this for uh, since uh, the afternoon, ever since we started this coverage, that when Mamta Banerjee inducts or re-inducts anyone, the, the importance of that particular individual uh, is, you know, is loud and clear. You will not get to see Mamta Banerjee inducting political leaders on a daily basis or on a monthly basis. I guess this is her first re-induction or induction of a political leader in a long, long time. Personally, she does not do this. It's either uh, you know the spokesperson or Partho Chatterjee or uh, Sudip Bandopadhyay or Shubhrato Roy uh, sorry or Shubhrato Mukherjee or uh, you know Shoghat Roy the seniors of the party who are known to do this we generally do not see Mamta Banerjee doing this but the mere fact that she will be re-inducting him and she is calling the presser at 3.30 today over here at Tunamul Bhavan clearly indicates that to, this indicates to the cadres that love it or hate it, if Mamta Banerjee has, you know, accepted that Mukul Roy is back in the party, you better fall in line with it and you better respect him the way you used to. And this also shows Mukul Roy's importance to Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee and Mukul Roy, they started this party over here. They started this party over here, uh, over here. And um, till 2017, that duo was extremely, extremely close. 
Mukul Roy was but, known to be but Mamata Banerjee. But Suryagini, it will be important to consider. You know, uh, Mukul Roy was not there when Mamata Banerjee was fighting elections recently and returned to power. So many would also see as somebody who was not there when the party needed him. And, and uh, I understand if you have to move, Suryagini, please feel free to go where you are required and you can get us the best visual also because there's a lot of crowd. Pooja. Stay safe. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Pooja, in, in, a, in a short while from now, Pooja, in a short while from now, what we do understand that Abhishek Banerjee too is going to be here as well. So this will be a huge Friday. Just look at our screens. We, we, we have been told by close sources that Abhishek will be here as well. So if Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee re-induct Mukul Roy, that is a... Isn't you know, it correct, Suryagini, that Abhishek one of the reasons that Mukul Roy left the Trinamool Congress, joined the BJP, was because of Mamta's nephew, Abhishek Banerjee? So this is very interesting and in how it is playing out three years on. Well, there, well, there were multiple reports suggesting that uh, uh, you know all were not good between Mam with Abhishek Banerjee and Mukul Roy. But we also need to understand one more thing: Abhishek Banerjee dropped in from Diamond Harbour when he was coming back and visited Mamta Banerjee's uh, sorry, and visited Mukul Roy's ailing wife who is admitted in the hospital and uh, you know uh, 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 no matter what uh, uh, both of the parties called it to be a very courteous meet and uh, uh, Mukul Roy's wife Krishna Roy is still in the hospital uh, but you know the uh, nothing can be uh, non-political especially in this kind of a situation right now the mere fact that Mamta Banerjee and Mukul Roy are over here and Abhishek is on his way it's a clear loud uh, loud message uh, which will also you know uh, you know this, this this you know this is a clear message to the bjp as well that mukul roy was credited for bjp's success in 2019 where bjp itself won um, 19 c 18 seats and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and you know even you know even when bjp won 70 odd seats in 2021 assembly elections mukul roy is one of those mlas who won uh, uh, won the election as well now this power packed combo of mamta banerjee mukul roy abhishek banerjee uh, you know it will be you know fighting the 2024 mega elections parliamentary elections together if all indications are hitting that way that is a clear message to the uh, you know the uh, the, the bjp uh, bjp central leadership that uh, the, uh, the pack over here is pretty united, especially at a time when there are rumours of all being not well in okay. the state unit of West Bengal BJP. Back to you, Pooja. But Suryagini, while you are there on location showing us visuals and we can see heightened activity, we can see police deployment and that Mamata Banerjee, the chief minister herself, will be inducting uh, Mukul Roy again. Should all be forgotten previously because when Mukul Roy moved, of course, there were statements that were made. Uh, there would have been clearly criticism of the party and the leadership. Should all that be forgotten? It seems that Mamata Banerjee is willing to ignore all of that and have the close aid back into the Trinamool Congress. Pooja, what we do need to understand over here is, is a very simple fact. In the three years that Mukul Roy was in uh, in the in the BJP, and uh, he was he was not a small leader in the BJP. He was given a national vice president uh, uh, post as well. Uh, Mukul Roy never attacked Mamta Banerjee personally. Policies, corruption, uh, you know, leaders being corrupt, the state government not doing anything, the uh, state government being biased. These were the allegations that Mukul Roy had always, uh, you know, lashed on the government and the Trinamool. But personally, Mukul Roy did not attack Abhishek Banerjee. Mukul Roy did not attack Mamta Banerjee. This was done by Shubhendu Adhikari. Uh, uh, you know, he, he went into a very personal fight uh, with the Banerjee's over here, with Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee. But Mukul Roy made it a very political, professional fight between the Trinamool Congress and the state government and the BJP. So over there, you know, uh, it, while Mamta Banerjee was campaigning on her, in her last few days near, at Nandigram, she even said that Mukul is not a bad person. Also, this uh, is talking to us, show us the visual there on the ground. What do you see? Show us the deployment and uh, the heightened activity that's also taking place. Go ahead.
Well, uh, you, you know, these are live visuals in front of Trinamool Bhavan. Uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee went in, Mukul Roy went in, and what we do understand is in a in a in a while in in a while in a while from now, uh, Abhishek Banerjee will be here. You can see the security apparatus over here. It's extremely extremely tight over here. Yeah, yeah no one can just you know. Uh, and you, uh, you know what we are do understanding that Abhishek will be here in a while. These are live. These are live visuals that these are live visuals that you know you are seeing um, in in a in, in a very short while from now. This this is Abhishek Banerjee's convoy. Live visuals at India today. Abhishek is inside, and even he is, uh, you know, he has entered the building. Abhishek Banerjee, Mamta Banerjee, Mukul Roy, three power pack politicians in one particular building, and that building is the Trinamool Bhavan, where it started. It, you know, where everything started in 1999, and uh, uh, and 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 the pack seems to be back together and uh, it's a very very politically uh, you know powerful pack as we can see abhishek mamta and mukul uh all of them are inside. They are having a meeting inside. He so is Shubhrata Mukherjee, uh, you know, former, former uh, minister and, and, and a very senior member of the yes. Trinamool Congress over here. So in, in a short while from now, there will be a press conference and Mamta Banerjee will be doing it. And, you know, besides her, there will be two individuals. Just look, just, just you know, it, it's a very powerful frame that we'll get to see. Yes. There might be Abhishek on one side, and there might be Mukul on one side and Mamta Banerjee conducting this particular press conference will give a clear message not only to the BJP but also to her cadres. Back to you, Pooja. So all eyes will be on Mamata Banerjee, the chief minister of the state, but also, of course, the most prominent neta of Trinamool Congress. That's the visual of Mukul Roy heading to the Trinamool Bhavan. What will Mamata Banerjee say? How will she welcome back this close aide who had betrayed her at some level, joined the BJP and is now ready to come back? But is Mukul Roy the face that the Trinamool Congress now needs? He has his strength and has his weakness as well. So we have decided to now compile for you of how possibly his entry or re-entry into the Trinamool Congress could mean change. His strength, of course, huge political clout and acumen, but the weakness remains. He's accused in Narda and Sarda scam. One of the reasons that uh, it was speculated he joined the BJP to keep himself safe. Strength. Knows inside out of Bengal, elections clearly a close aid of Mamata Banerjee, but his weakness remains, his ambitions of not being able to become a chief minister, and that likely will not happen anytime soon either. Strength. Worked closely with top leadership of BJP Trinamool Congress, so two parties now he knows fairly bet, at least for Bengal, but his weakness remains as the opportunistic tag of switching sides. But with so many politicians changing sides, is he any different? Strength. Renowned as the backroom political strategist, at least with regard to the chief minister in Bengal. But weakness, no history of electoral success for him. So again, will he be the one as a strategist or will he be coming into the fray of elections directly? That is Mukul Roy now at Trinamool Bhavan. My colleague Suryagini Roy is uh, reporting live from outside the Trinamool Bhavan. At what time? Suryagini, are we expecting the press briefing to take place? Because what I'm waiting to see is how Mamata Banerjee is going to welcome Mukul Roy back into the fold. Is she going to be perhaps giving out a dramatic statement and that is going to make a headline? Or will she be a little more subtle this time? Mukul Roy or Mamata Banerjee? Bhagavan Jane. All right, that is a visual of Mukul Roy just about a short while ago. And when he was asked about what precisely is his plan of action, a brief statement emerging from Mukul Roy stating, I am heading to the Srinamool Bhavan. So that was a confirmation before he had reached. He's now at the Bhavan. And uh, we are being told that Mamata Banerjee has reached, so has her nephew Abhishek Banerjee. Three important, significant people of TMC Bengal politics all set to join hands again. We will continue to track all the latest on this, heading into a very short break, but don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to India Today for all the latest.